was diagnosed in May of 2011 and found the uh, MS in my brain and all up and down my spine. The men that get it more oftentimes have the bad kind, which is the progressive MS, which is what I have. And I am fully wheelchair bound now. I was born right here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, December 23rd, 1968. I spent all my time surfing because that was a cool thing to do. I'd never done it and it was a great draw. It was a good time, made me feel good. Since uh, late 86, after high school, I'd been a skateboarder and stuff, so. I've been married uh, 20 years as of this past October, so. Yeah, I have one son who's gonna be 20 in March. Crazy boy hasn't figured out what he wants to do with his life yet, so. And I don't live there anymore because the MS was taking me in one direction and they're sort of hanging tight in another direction, so. Uh, they did some, M a couple of MRIs and stuff like that and found the uh, MS in my brain and all up and down my spine. I was diagnosed in May of 2011 and I was having a little bit of back pain a lot of back pain and trouble walking. Back then I was using crutches and I started using a wheelchair a little bit in November of 2011 and I am fully wheelchair bound now. I haven't, it's, it's aggressive enough that it hasn't uh, let, let up on that. So my right side is uh, apparently taking a big hit and especially in the last say six months or whatever, or even the four months that I've been here recovering from a wound, and stuff that this right side is really taking a dive. If it's gonna hit you, it'll hit you somewhere between 18 and 40, and it affects more women than men. The men that get it more oftentimes have the bad kind, which is the progressive MS, which is what I have. Recently, I was spending about an hour at a time in my chair once a day, and then recently with my wounds, going back and forth, getting close to close to being healed, but then all of a sudden breaking open again a little bit more and stuff, and it's sort of spreading a little here and there. Other other little wounds, you know, were around it were starting to pop up, so they, they've stopped that, so. And uh, being in this facility, my status has changed from short-term skilled care to a long-term. Now I'm just kind of trying to learn to let it go because there's nothing I can do about it. And it's not like I just lay there and let it happen. I still fight it, but I just understand that there's really not that much I can do about it. And sometimes the harder I fight, the harder it comes back at me. So I don't want to just lay there, you know, just give up and just lay there and wait for the end. You know, I got to stay semi-positive and that helps, you know, put a beacon of hope out for my wife too, along with me that late age old thing of trying to help my wife out and be there for her and, and you know, try to survive as a family and stuff. And that fell out a couple of years ago when I had to leave the house and stuff, you know, and I was having a hard enough time supporting, being the financial support that we needed to, to survive then. And well, a lot of it is, is just hope that somebody will figure this crap out and be able to reverse it or something and stuff before I fall so far totally under this MS that there is no coming back. You know, I don't, I don't expect to get up and run marathons again, but it would be nice to, to reverse this a little bit and maybe I could at least stand. Just get up and get up and walk across the room to change the TV, or go to the refrigerator, or walk up walk upstairs to go to bed, or you know whatever, or to stand up and go get in the shower. You know, I have to be put into a special bed and wheeled into the shower room and and hosed down. I used to hike a lot and stuff. That was that's the one thing I miss a lot is being able to go for a hike and just look around at all the all the sights and scenery and stuff. That's, that's the one big thing I'm grateful for is family and stuff that'll, that'll still come and be around me and, and still hope and wish for me that, that this stuff will be cured someday and stuff like that. So that I don't just lay here by myself all day, every day. Well, of course I still love them very much and stuff and I want them to succeed and get past all this or whatever, but that just means I need for them to believe that they can hold on and, and make something better for themselves and everything else. To my son, I would like to say that he needs to get the ball rolling himself because he's not a little kid anymore, he's a grown man. And it's time for him to step up and, and show what he can do because he doesn't really have a choice anymore. I 
would say just try to stay positive and fight for it as much as you can and don't give up don't give up don't give up